Now that we are done making my coffee, let's get started. Everything that brought me alive Oh, we're all like monsters Playing with the monsters They brought me alive But I know I love Hey guys, it's Genevieve from the JJ Twins If you want to see how I did this eyeshadow look Then just keep watching so, I'm going to be using the Tartlet Toasted Palette. These are the colors. Um, I think I'm going to play around with this um, kind of like orangey brown shimmery color. And I kind of want to do more of like an orangey tone color. I might add some dark to it. I'm not sure yet. I'm just kind of playing around with these colors just to see what other looks I can come up with. But yeah, for now, I think I'm gonna go with like this color, maybe this orange one and this orange one. I might add some dark, I don't know. So I'm just gonna play around with it. I'm gonna first start off with using just like a base color, so like one of these. I'll probably use this one. So I just use whatever brushes I think work. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna apply it to the whole lid kind of blending it as well it's kind of messily it doesn't really show too much you can kind of be messy with it and I like to go a little bit under here because it creases okay so now let's do the light orange warmth color this one right here And then after that, I might add a little bit of this on the outer edges of it. So let's do that one. I'm just going in the crease area. It's a very light color, so it's not gonna be super dark. Something like that, you kind of just want them to look similar. Okay, so I like to just look at a napkin or like a cloth, a little towel or something, just kind of wipe the color off. I usually use the same brushes, sometimes I switch between two. So now I'm gonna go in with, I said I was gonna use this light one, but I think I'm just gonna go in with this darker one. It's called Cozy. So I start off with s'mores. And then I did this light orange warmth color. And now I'm gonna do this darker brownish orange cozy color. The same brush and focusing it in the crease. just swipe it and then swipe it kind of fast to blend it out in like a back and forth motion some people like to like blend it like this in circles I'm not really used to doing it like that so um, yeah same thing to this eye okay so something like that um, I think I'm gonna use this flame color and just throw that on the whole lid and see how that looks. So, and I like to do shimmery colors with my finger. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'll try to do it on camera. I like, to, it's not always good to pull like your eye, but I feel like it helps. So, just wanna make sure I don't go too high. 
or two outside. So you just kind of want to focus it on the center and not go above the crease or anything. It's pretty. Something like that. So I could either leave it like this or I could add like a darker color. So it kind of depends what you want. Both looks look really pretty, I think. So if you want to go lighter, I would say stick to this color. But if you want to go a little darker, then add the darker fireside color, this one. I'm going to grab a different brush. This one is the Morphe M321 brush. Kind of hard to see. The M321. And this is what it looks like. It kind of works in the one little area. I'm actually going to grab this dark cozy color that I added on top. I'm going to add this one to the bottom. So a lot of products are marking it off. And then just go underneath. Right underneath your lashes. I really like this color though. It's a nice like, I use a nice like everyday color. A brownish orange, I like those colors. Um, I love to use like purples and other colors, but for everyday I like more like neutral colors or um, browns and orange and stuff, so. See where it looks pretty, so I'm going to do it to both sides. Oh, I still have to practice. Little by little, I'm trying to, um, you know, step up my makeup. But actually, I like how it looks. I like that it's a little bit darker in color, so I'm gonna go in with the, this brush, the same cozy color, and go in the crease just darken it a little bit more. Pretty already. I don't know if I should add dark brown to it though. Mm. It looks pretty nice, I think. Um, I'm trying to decide if I should leave it like this or add it like a dark brown. Hmm, I think I'm going to add a dark brown. Okay. So, with this brush, I'm going to wipe it off on a little napkin just to kind of get the color off. And I'm going to go in with the dark fireside color in the crease, same area. So basically I'm just gonna put it on top. Let's see. Just kind of lightly put it on and then blend it. Oh yeah, it looks pretty already. It's like a nice contrast, I guess you could say. dark back with this color I mean this um, brush the same dark color go in the um, underneath the eyelashes right underneath it I think it looks better with the darker color as close to the eyelashes as possible and then the lighter color kind of under it Lashes and then do my mascara. I feel like curling my eyelashes really helps. Okay, I'm gonna grab my mascara, the one I use every single time I do my makeup. Um, Maybelline, the Colossal Volume Express Cat Eyes, it has the cheetah print right here. I haven't found any other mascara that I like. If 
found that some of them, I noticed that a lot of them that I would try or buy, they're very like clumpy and I don't like the clumpy look. And then I'm gonna do the other eye. I hope the lighting's okay because it is getting dark. But anyways, I think I did get a little bit of like mascara underneath. Usually you want to let it dry and then get a Q-tip and wipe it off so that way it doesn't wipe off the eyeshadow. But sometimes I don't want to wait and I'll wipe it off and usually it's fine. But if you do wipe off the eyeshadow by accident, you could just go back in and add a little bit more eyeshadow. And it's just a little bit of mascara on your skin. You can leave it, but if it's, if it's like a lot, you probably want to wipe it off. So that's it for the eyeshadow. It's taking my time. And I actually really like how it came out. I don't know if I've done this eyeshadow look before. I might have done similar, but yeah, I really like it. So if you have like a setting spray or anything, you can use it to spray. I have this like little one that's called LA Colors Setting Spray. Helps extend makeup wear. A little mini bottle. And LA Colors is a good brand. So I haven't really tried this one out, so I'm just gonna use a little bit. It's a nice mist. It's not too like harsh. Nice little mist spray. So I have these. I really like MAC Strip Down. It's like 18 bucks for just one, but it's pretty long. It lasts a long time, I think. So I can do this color. Um, or I can do Maybelline number 118 Raw Chocolate. I could do that too, but this one is actually finished. I really like this one because it goes on super smooth. I really like it, so I have to buy a new one. I'm not gonna throw it away, so that way I know which one to buy. But I could do this one if I wanted, if I had some more in it. It's a little bit darker than this one, so it's a little more natural. And then I do have Dose of Colors in the color That's Cool. So I don't know if I should do gloss or a liner. I usually do liners. Maybe I'll try both for once. So this is the um, MAC strip down. So that's how that looks. I think, um, should I try this on the top? I think I'm gonna try this on top since I never do um, the liners and the glosses together. It's pretty. It looks kind of pretty, I guess. Does it go together though with the gloss? Maybe if the eyeshadow was more like liquid shine. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. I guess you could do either um, with the shine or just the lip liner or whatever you want to use. But this is just what I did. everything for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was a little bit helpful and don't forget to like and subscribe.